This is a book ball summary of the book Abundance by Peter H. Diamandis and Stephen Kotler. Civilization is on the verge of a promising and forward thinking future. Changes in the technological, business and economic spheres will improve societies all over the world. In watching this video, you'll find exactly what these changes are, some of which are less obvious than others. For example, did you know that the computing power of the average laptop is close to overtaking that of the human brain? Or how access to the internet is making it easier for children in the developing world to get an education? Or how genetically engineered algae can solve the world's energy crisis? We'll be revealing important and mind-blowing information about how technology and social innovations such as these will make our society a better place. Number 1. Our brain's architecture and the media gives us an overly pessimistic view of the future. It's difficult to evaluate the potential risks of war, terrorism, climate change, economic crises, population increase and food shortages while thinking about the future. Many of these hazards appear so impending that someone who didn't take them into account while assessing their future may be considered crazy. In truth, underlying factors encourage us to see the future in a negative light. Our brains are constantly on guard for potential hazards, and the amygdala plays an important role in alerting us to potential threats. However, it is not as well suited to modern society, when dangers tend to be more speculative and probabilistic such as the possibility of a terrorist strike or a recession in the economy. The second has to do with the kind of information we receive. We are bombarded with images and scenarios that feed the amygdala, keeping us alert and preventing us from viewing the future objectively. But if we look at the statistics, we see that the industrialized world has never been safer. Just as they could not fathom the impact of technological advances such as the internet, we cannot see what the effect future developments will have on our continued progress. The future is brighter than what our brains and the media would have us believe. Number 2. Traditional education methods are outdated and need a rethink, but ICT may provide the answer. The Industrial Revolution formed our current educational system, influencing not only what subjects were taught, but also how they were taught. Education needs a serious rethink, but is it feasible with such stretched resources? There is evidence to suggest that increased access to ICT may offer a solution that can address both quality and delivery issues. Education video games can help students be highly motivated to tackle complex problems and find creative solutions. Further development in such technologies, combined with a widespread drive to increase access to the internet and online technology, may offer a cost-effective solution and provide individuals with a first-class personalized education that gives the skills today's society needs. Number 3. A successful future depends on innovational freedom, not being held back by fear of failure. Companies are increasingly aware of the potential benefits of failure and have developed techniques to make it more acceptable to encourage innovation. Examples are big companies like Apple, where Newton, the digital assistant, was a disaster. But much of the development work on the technology led to the creation of a handwriting recognition system. The key ingredient isn't failure, but the freedom to innovate and learn from our mistakes. As it's said, it's not so much about thinking outside the box as in the right-sized box. Number 4. Computer processors are said to surpass the human brain's calculation capacity in the next 15 years. Intel co-founder Gordon Moore predicted that the number of computer chip transistors would double every two years for the next 10 years. If computer processors continue to progress in line with Moore's law, the average laptop will surpass the speed of the human brain in the next 15 years. This exponential increase in processing speed will have tremendous implications, particularly in the field of artificial intelligence and robotics. This law is still relevant today and has become known as Moore's law. IBM has recently developed microchips that run on light, removing potential limitations of electron-based chips. They predict that this technology will increase the speed of supercomputers a thousandfold over the next eight years. With such breakthroughs and continued progress, it seems to be a question of when the average laptop will calculate faster than our brains, not whether it will. Number 5. As technology advances and becomes more affordable, robots may soon take up their long-heralded role in society. Robots are set to take on an increasing role in society as the price of their components continues to fall. Three-dimensional laser rangefinders, for instance, are a key element in allowing a robot to navigate a cluttered room. While they used to cost $5,000 per unit, 
Recent advances in technology and an increased popularity have seen that price drop to $150 per unit. However, now there are good reasons to believe that the wait for intelligent robots may be coming to an end. Although Moore's Law specifically deals with the increasing performance of computer chips, other essential components are experiencing similar exponential increases in performance with simultaneous drops in price. And as these components are pressed into action and mass-produced, prices plummet even deeper. Huge strides are complementing the availability of such advanced hardware in artificial intelligence. We're developing robots that can recognize individual people and react to movements and facial expressions with appropriate emotional responses. Industry experts already envisage robots providing care for an aging population and augmenting services in several areas. Number six, nanotechnology allows us to create new materials with qualities and functionality to create major advances in many areas. Nanotechnology involves building things on an atomic scale. Using atoms as building blocks makes it possible to create unique materials. In 2009, Michael Pritchard created the simple design of the Lifesaver water bottle. This filter makes the water safe to drink without requiring expensive chemical or energy intensive methods. This technology has allowed us to create materials with interesting properties. For instance, nanocomposites are considerably stronger than steel and can be reduced at a fraction of the cost. Nanoscale components are also being used to improve the efficiency of energy technologies, particularly in solar cells. Number seven, 3D printing, changing how we design and create, enabling mass innovation and reducing waste. A 3D printer is regarded as a device that creates objects of any shape by placing consecutive layers of material one on top of the other. Recent advances in technology have made it possible for current models to print in an exceptional range of materials, such as plastic, glass, steel, and titanium. But 3D printing is not limited to producing objects. It's also making waves in medical fields, where cells and tissue can now be printed. Early applications have included printing skin tissue, such as ears, for use in cosmetic surgery. But further research into printing complex organs such as replacement kidneys for transplants is underway. Being able to produce and modify your products minimizes the need for large-scale production of many goods on the market, creating resource savings through reductions in waste and shipping. While the innovative potential of 3D printing is creating a lot of excitement, the approaching affordability and availability of the technology to the home user may be the bigger game changer. Number eight, biotechnology provides solutions to global problems particularly in agriculture, healthcare, energy, and the environment. Genetic engineering breakthroughs made possible by biotechnology are proving to be a crucial tool in the struggle to feed a growing population. Craig Venter, famed for his project to sequence the human genome, is currently working to develop strains of algae as a biofuel source. If Venter hits his target, he will be able to produce 10,000 gallons of biofuel per acre, no small feat compared to the 18 gallons produced by corn. As the preserve of large organizations, biotechnology is already providing key advances, but easier access to the technology is multiplying the potential to find innovative solutions to food, energy, and other global problems. Number nine, global connectivity is accelerating the sharing of information, solving social problems, and preventing oppression. When Oscar Morales created a Facebook group in 2008, he could never have imagined the consequences it would have 10 years later. A month later, 12 million people were out in the streets protesting in 200 cities, which led to a massive wave of demilitarization with soldiers leaving the FARC. Imagine the impact of people from all social statuses joining the global conversation and sharing their ideas and opinions. The spread of global connectivity is already helping to solve societal problems across the globe. As it continued to grow, we could see an increase in popular protests started by people like Oscar Morales. Number 10. Advances in solar energy technology are increasing usage, lowering production prices, and furthering innovation. The sun is essentially the only source we need to examine if we want to discuss abundance in terms of energy sources. The amount of solar energy present in North African deserts is sufficient to meet 40 times the world's current energy needs. With so much energy available for one source, why are we not capturing more of it? 
Many areas where solar energy is most easily available lack the funds, industries or political stability to build the infrastructure necessary to take advantage of this resource. A significant contributor to this lack of uptake is the cost and relative inefficiency of first generation solar cells. Significant progress has been made in improving the efficiency of solar energy through the use of thinner silicon layers, nanotechnology to focus the sun's energy, and better energy capture devices. The age of solar panels covering rooftops may only be a fleeting one, as advances mean we can now create much smaller yet increasingly efficient cells. Solar prices are estimated to be dropping by 6%, and capacity is growing by 30% annually. Number 11. Using affordable sensors will help reduce waste by greatly improving the efficiency of delivery systems. Optimizing production and capturing techniques is only one side of the battle towards efficient management of the world's resources. We also need to ensure that delivery systems of resources and products are efficient in order to minimize waste. An estimated 20% of fresh water is lost through contamination or leaks in the network of pipes that deliver the water to taps. The technology to create smarter delivery and distribution systems is available, and if we invest so much in creating goods more efficiently, minimizing the waste of resources will be part of this efficiency drive. What's your most important key takeaway? Please comment down below and share the video if you like it. Check out these other videos. Thank you, and until next time.